Good day, good day everyone, and we meet yet again, and um, once again we are preparing for those exams, and I just wanted to cover just a quick cell, uh, it's an electrolytic cell, which is um, the purification of aluminium, uh, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, uh, and please hit that thumbs up button, and I just want this to be a quick short lesson on, you know, the extraction of aluminium. And um, yeah, so which is another application of, uh, you know, the electrolytic cell, right? So essentially, uh, what we need to learn about uh, aluminium is that aluminium does not come as a, you know, as, as, as a metal, a free metal, right? So what happens with aluminium is that, you know, uh, it's, it's extracted as ore. And normally we call that ore, they call it bauxite, okay? Uh, just remember that, uh, so the ore of aluminium is simply referred to as bauxite, okay? Uh, and I'm going to just write down the equation of it, okay? Um, uh, yeah, so um, so it's, it's, it's normally uh, extracted from bauxite, uh, which is in a simplified way, sort of aluminium hydrate, hydrated aluminium uh, 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 hydrate, right? Aluminium oxide hydrate. So in this case, uh, it looks something like this, Al2O3. So what I have here is kind of a representation of the cell. Um, so you'd see there that you've got your electrodes, okay, your positive electrodes that are connected to this guy. So means that those are positively charged, okay? And I'm going to show you what happens over here. So in here, I would have Al2O3, which is aluminium oxide, okay? Uh, so that is what I would get from the ore of, uh, um, uh, you know, f uh, when they actually get aluminium, right? It's actually this, this ore. Now, secondly, what then happens is that, you know, they take this bo bauxite and, you know, they have to wash it and purify it first, okay, to get rid of impurities, you know, and, and, and so on and so forth. So then, um, uh, you know, so we have a substance uh, when we now uh, have purified the aluminium oxide, okay, you remember that we said when we uh, extract it, we extract it as a uh, uh, bauxite, you know, aluminium oxide. But now, once they purify it, okay, uh, the aluminium oxide, they no longer call it bauxite. They actually call it alu alumina, all right? So just remember that once we've purified the aluminium oxide, it's called alumina. Uh, but remember, this is the pure form of aluminium oxide. Oxide. So what you would have here is basically alumina, right? So what we are going to do is I want to show you quickly from a standard reduction table or, or you know, standard reduction uh, uh, reactions rather uh, of how then we would now form aluminium from this process. OK, so now what you would have here, we've got positive electrodes and you connect this to the positive, uh, to the negative side, uh, which is this side over here. Uh, don't worry about the complicated nature and the structure of the cell. What you need to just remember is that remember that uh, for, the, for an electrolytic cell, positive electrodes, that's where we know that becomes our anode, that's where oxidation will take place, and the negative, that's where um, reduction will take place, right? So we know reduction will take place over there. And by the way, please don't be alarmed. They can, by the way, just uh, give you the cell as your normal uh, electrolytic, you know, in the normal electrolytic form where you've got, let's say, here's our battery there. That's the positive side. That's the negative side. And by the way, they use carbon electrodes. And I'm going to show you why, uh, by the way, those are not good for the environment. OK, right. Now, let's go through the standard reduction uh, um, uh, or rather the, 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 the reaction that actually takes place. Now, remember, what we are trying to do is we are trying to form pure aluminium. Right. So what do we have? We've got alumina, which is uh, aluminium oxide. Okay, and so what they do is that they dissolve that alumina in a 
in in a substance called uh, cryolite okay and and by the way i'm telling you all of this because uh, you might need to learn it uh, for the cell so they dissolve it in a substance called cryolite and the formula of it okay uh, you know it might look a little bit daunting okay so that's na3 al f6 okay so we call this substance cryolite and uh, what happens is that they do that in order to reduce or to lower you know the, the melting point of uh, of this alumina so if you think about it uh, because the melting point of it is around 2000 degrees celsius but once they mix it with this cryolite uh, it then brings down that uh, uh, melting process to about 950 degrees which obviously would now uh, you know save energy and you know reduce the the, the, the running cost of the production, right? Okay, so we take the alumina, we dissolve it in cryolite to reduce the, uh, you know, the, the melting point of it. And then now we are going to have a reaction, an electrolytic uh, process that is going to take place. Remember, at our carbon electrodes, now two reactions take place. Now, first of all, I know that aluminium oxide when it breaks down so al2o3 okay which is uh, when it ionizes i'm gonna get two things right first of all i'm going to have al3 plus okay and i'm going to get oxygen remember oxygen is o2 minus all right so remember, in this case, I've got two things. I've got aluminium, which is Al3+, and I've got oxygen. So this is the ionic form uh, of aluminium oxide, okay? Right, of course, I haven't uh, balanced it and so on. Um, so in this case, uh, I'm just going to leave it as that, okay? So now, remember, so if I've got Al3+, and I've got O2-, minus, um, uh, you know, ions uh, present, what's going to happen is that at the negative electrode, I am going to attract all those Al3 plus ions. Okay. So now a reaction takes place. I'm going to have Al3 plus. Uh, sorry, uh, the 3 plus I was supposed to have there at the top. Okay, can I just rewrite this? So I'm going to have Al3 plus, and now it's going to receive three electrons, and it's going to become aluminium, right? So now it's going to undergo reduction, okay? It's going to receive electrons. Remember, reduction takes place at the negative electrode uh, for an electrolytic cell. But remember, we also have a positive uh, electrode right uh, I'm gonna come back uh, to this so we are forming aluminium uh, on this side on the negative side uh, here uh, we're going to form aluminium remember this is the negative one but all you need to remember uh, is how to actually go about um, you know explaining the half reactions that take place so this is the oxidation half reaction okay and then um, you keep in mind so now we've got oxygen right uh, so something that I want to show you quickly there. So uh, what you're going to have is oxygen and uh, perhaps it would be very helpful for me to show you that from the standard reduction table. Okay, so let me start with the aluminium reaction. Okay, so if you just note there, there's my aluminium reaction, Al3 plus plus three electrons forming aluminium there. Okay, it's at minus 1.66. Okay, so that's the half reaction that takes place. Now, okay, okay, and uh, another reaction takes place. Remember, we also have O2 minus, so we end up with O2 minus, okay, giving us oxygen, O2, by the way, by also giving away two electrons, all right? So that's the reaction uh, that we have over there. 
All right, so now we want to write down this reaction as a balanced equation, as a balanced reaction. Okay, so I want us to do that quickly. And I'm going to show you how we will balance it. You can see the number of electrons there that are, uh, um, you know, uh, in the reduction formula is not the same as the number of electrons in the oxidation formula, right? Okay, so let's see how we're going to do that quickly. Okay, uh, but to do that correctly, actually, uh, I copied this incorrectly from the standard reduction table. Okay, so it's going to be 2O2 minus, okay, which gives us oxygen, all right, and this would be four electrons. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is what it would look like. So you'd be given both of these reactions in your, in your reduction potentials table, right? and your standard reduction potentials table. Right, and then now what I simply want to do is just to make sure that the number of electrons are equal before I can write down the net cell reaction, isn't it? So I've got four electro three electrons over there, four electrons there. How do I balance it? Okay, so uh, first of all, I'll find the lowest common multiple, right, uh, which is the lowest number that is divisible by both four uh, and three. And that number would be 12, isn't it? Okay, so in this case, how do I make that um, uh, uh, 12? All right, uh, I will simply multiply this one by, uh, uh, you know, I'd multiply this one by 4, right? So I'll multiply the top equation by 4. And then so 4 multiplied by 1, that will give me 4. Uh, 4 multiplied by 3... I'll have 12, okay? Uh, I don't know if I should rewrite it. Okay, so I'll have 12. In fact, uh, if you don't mind, let me just rewrite it over there so that we'll see the net cell reaction uh, um, uh, quite well. So I'll have 4 Al3+, plus, okay, plus 12 electrons, and that will give me 4 Al, right? And then for this one, what would I do to make sure that I've got 12 electrons? Just simply multiply this one by 3. Okay, so multiply everything by 3. So what do I have? I've got 2 times 3, which would give me 6O2 minus, okay, which would give me 3O2 and, um, sorry, plus uh, 12 electrons, okay? Now, all I need to do, all I'm trying to do now is just to make sure that all my electrons are balanced. Now, notice this. I've got 12 electrons there, 12 electrons there. Now, I can cancel them. So, let's write down the overall or the net cell reaction for this uh, reaction over here. So, what do I have ultimately? I've got 4Al3+, plus, plus 6O2, okay, uh, and I had even written, sorry, uh, the 2 must be at the top there, O2 minus, so this is O2 minus over there, which will now give me, okay, uh, on the right hand side, write everything that's on the right hand side, I've got 4Al, okay, 4Al plus, in this case, 3 oxygen okay so three moles of oxygen so everything on the left hand side i've just written it down over there so this is the overall cell reaction okay so when they ask us about the purification of aluminium okay this would be our net cell reaction okay it looks a little bit messy but um, uh, that is what we have okay right now let's just mention just the last few things uh, about the cell and let's Bring it to a conclusion so uh, just a couple of things that we need to note remember we said the bauxite uh, this is uh, impure aluminium oxide right this is the one that is extracted is purified and they form alumina which is the pure aluminium oxide we put cryolite in order to reduce the uh, the melting point and then in this case we know that aluminium oxide breaks down to become uh, aluminium three plus ions okay 
uh, and O2 minus, which is for oxygen. And then ultimately what we did do is just to take that from the standard reduction table, we know that on the positive side, we are going to undergo uh, um, um, uh, you know, oxidation, all right? And on the negative side, we're going to have reduction, okay? Right, and just the last thing about this cell, we know that we need to find the, the net cell reaction. And what you'll notice there is that now we've formed aluminium, okay, which is what we wanted to do. We've purified it, okay? And now we also have oxygen. So which means when I look on the... Now, please, I want you to note. So in this case, this is our negative electrode, right? This is where reduction took place. Al3+, plus, so this is on the negative side. I'm going to form aluminium over there. Okay, so I'm going to see this guy, uh, you know, begin to increase in mass. And on the positive side, I'm going to see oxygen being formed there. Now, remember, these are carbon electrodes. So there was a question that was asked, and they asked, why is it that uh, this cell is considered to be um, you know, hazardous to the environment. And the reason for that is that, remember, you've got a carbon electrode that has oxygen with, with it, and you know that once I have carbon plus oxygen, that forms carbon dioxide, right? Which is, in fact, a greenhouse gas. We know how dangerous that is. Uh, that contributes to the formation uh, uh, to climate change, by the way. Okay, so that is why this cell is considered uh, to be, um, uh, you know, to, not to be good for the environment. Okay, yeah, so uh, in fact, uh, perhaps I want to leave it uh, there when it comes to this cell. All right, um, so that is how you would actually answer questions that are related to the cell. Uh, just to show you uh, quickly, uh, just the last thing, uh, if you wanted to really write this as a, a net cell reaction, uh, I would actually write it uh, in this way. So 2Al, okay, 2Al2, O3. Now, if you notice, uh, you know, two of those, this is the same as 4Al3+, plus, right? So that's how you'd actually write it. And then you've got 2 times 3 there, which is 6. This is what we had, 6O2 minus, okay? And what you'd have there is that on the other side, you'll have 4Al as well as 3O2. Uh, uh, um, remember, this is solid, and that's gas, okay? Whereas uh, that's in aqueous form, okay? So remember this and that are exactly the same thing. All right, so I hope that you understood when it comes to this cell. That's basically it when it comes to the purification of aluminium. Okay, I'll see you guys again. All right, and uh, please just make sure that if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, again next time. Shop, shop.